Dog the Bounty Hunter shows up at the laundry house. So I think uh, he's trying to find some dirty laundry as well. Do, do we really need Dog the Bounty Hunter to interject in this thing? Is well, now we know it's a serious <laughs> story that law enforcement is, has as a top priority because Dog the Bounty Hunter is on the case. Yeah, so Dog the Bounty Hunter, Saturday afternoon, it was about 4.30, and here comes, do you know his real name by any, by any chance? Uh, Dwayne Chapman? Very good. Yeah. Yep. Dwayne, well, I knew that. I was just, that was kind of like, yeah. a, was like, kind of like a, a quiz. So Dwayne Chapman, Dog the Bounty Hunter, knocks on the door of the Laundry family, and of course, uh, Brian Laundry has been missing since, uh, what, September 14th? That's the day that the parents last claimed that they saw him. And, you know, the whole, what, his hike in the in the nature reserve, the right? The Carlton Preserve the, down in Sarasota County? I yeah. Think, you know what? I think it's a, I think it's a reserve, not a preserve. I will reserve the preserve <laughs> on the Carlton. Will you? All right, so here's Dog the Bounty Hunter. Uh, Fox got this audio. Because I lost a daughter at the, about the same age, that's, I know what the parents feel like, okay? And you want justification. You want the guy behind bars. So that's Dog the Bounty Hunter, and here's one more bite of him talking to media from the laundry house down in Northport. I thought the dad would answer and talk, but I was very persistent without disturbing the peace and knocked a few times so they saw it was me. And I didn't play nasty and put a copy of the warrant on their front door, none of that. I was very respectful, and the dad can still reach out to me through social media. Let's get the kid captured alive. So, What's his shtick? I've never watched his show. He's a bounty hunter. Right, so I understand he had, he that. A, but He had a TV show, Dog the Bounty Was that the name of the show, Fester? Dog the Bounty Hunter was the name of the show. Yeah. And he would just go after, they would have camera crews with him, and he'd go after uh, bail jumpers. You know, when somebody posts a bond and the bail bondsman is on the hook, and then they don't report and they flee, and they they jump their bail or their bond, then you got a bounty hunter that goes after them. Hey, listen, uh, Midnight Run, that's one of the best movies of all time with Charles Grodin. You ever see that? Doug made me watch it, but I fell asleep. Oh, my God, that's one of the greatest movies <laughs> of all time. He thinks so, too, but I didn't make it oh. past my third glass of wine. All right. <laughs> that's a great movie. So, uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter now, uh, you know, jumping on the case. Can I just put this out there? What? I think this guy's a piece of crap. Dog. I am not a dog Do fan. Really? I don't think he's a good guy. I, I, I just your vibe. I, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of this guy. Uh, let me flip the camera around so people yeah. can see you faster. Yeah, I'm not a fan right, of this. Uh, yeah, I'm no fan of this Dwayne Chapman guy. I mean, listen, knocking on the laundry family's house. He's just he's an opportunistic schmuck who's just trying to get a little more fame for himself. He's not looking for right, anybody. Roxanne, do you have any thoughts on on Dog the Bounty Hunter? I don't know him like Fester does. I'm I'm sensing some tension here. I feel like there's more to it. Yeah, there, there's absolute tension here. No doubt about it. Yeah. So the door was not answered. Right. They did not answer the door for I mean, Dwayne would, Chapman. Would my, my, you? I mean, you, you well, look outside your people. I, there's Dwayne Chapman. I, like, oh, now, geez. Now, get this guy out of I here. I got a couple of questions. Do you think the Girl Scouts are going to knock on the door to sell cookies this year at the laundry house? That's number one. I'll probably miss this house. And, any, any chance? What no. about trick-or-treating? Is there going to be trick-or-treating at the laundry house? That's going to be a little awkward, huh? Ugh. Are they going to find Brian Laundry before Halloween? Uh, you know, dead, alive, whatever the story is. Listen, we started the whole deal last week. I offered a 25000 I was the first to offer a, re a reward for information leading to his whereabouts as a person of interest. The MJ Morning Show, I am J. Todd Schnitt. I was the first to offer a $25,000 reward last week for information as to where Brian Laundry is. Uh, what? Hey, what if the publisher's clearinghouse shows up at the Laundry House? Are they going to answer the door for that? If they show up with the big giant check? I I'd let that guy in. I think, come on in with your big check. Leave dog out there. I'm just, I'm just asking a question.